Second on the grid, please welcome Edward Callum. Driving for Schumacher, please welcome Nora Hickling. And forgive me if I get this wrong, but I think today driving a Yokomo car, please welcome fourth on the grid, Andy Wesson. Driving for Schumacher, fifth on the grid. Please welcome Brett Birch. Six on the grid. Again, another Schumacher car. Please welcome Andy Woods. Seventh on the grid, driving for PR. Please welcome Chris Emerson. First of two Kyosho cars. Please welcome, welcome eighth on the grid. Stuart Harlow. And uh, respectively another commercial card nine from the grid, Joseph Cockhill. And last from the grid, it's been done before, driving for Schumacher, please welcome Tom Robertson. Well done. Uh, the referee will tell you if you can circulate or not, so uh, I'll let them. F2's two-wheel drive, A final, leg one. Uh, we are away. Let's have a look what the... Uh, oh, there's a little bit of argy-bargy going on further back. But one, two, three, look as if they have got away nice and clean. And uh, here comes the pay man, so... Oh yeah, Wolf 7, big winner. So car 7, Chris Edison jumps into 5, into the 5 spot. But uh, it looks super competitive this final. Look how close they all are. Oh, oh it looks as if Callum, oh I thought my apologies, uh, went for a move there. But uh, hold back, Carlo out in front. Edward Laura, Andy and Tom Robertson from 10th on the group into the five spot, rocking and rolling. The blue car is on a mission. So uh, here they come over the whoopsies. Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, it's a carry on, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a referee up there. And uh, I've got to say, a very experienced one too. Not that he referees that much, but he knows what he's doing. So, new leader. And uh, Edward Callum out in front. Tyler in second. And Laura just sitting there, biding her time. Looking very accurate. So, the, uh, the lady amongst us showing us how it's done. Here at Boxco. Running in third. Tom Robertson. Fighting very hard with Andy for fourth. Oh, look how close they are now. Laura looking for an avenue. She's looking for a way by. Loads of time to go. We're not even at two minutes as yet. So, uh, in fact, we now hit the two minute mark. Three minutes remaining. A lot of racing. Look at them go. Oh, take Tom. Now Tom is through to fourth. Oh, and that looks like, is that Chris? It looks like Chris Emerson from the seventh spot into the fourth spot. Andy Wesson, five. Tom Robertson into the sixth spot from ten, but at the front. Look how close it is between these, these guys. They've swapped round, so he's leaving from one. Laura makes a little bit of a space. And Chris Emerson from seventh into third rocking and rolling the PR car doing very very well Laura just got a little bit sideways cost a little bit of yardage but 
Yeah. With two minutes remaining and plenty of time. Look at these three out in front. Going absolutely at it. And uh and the Association Car versus the team at the top. Not that that matters because we're all friends in this sport. And uh, as you can see, they're both looking very, very good. Both very talented young drivers, up and coming drivers. And uh, going at it. Oh! And it looked like Tyler tried to go around the outside. Couldn't make it stick. And there's still plenty of time. Oh, and Tyler to the point now. So how did that happen? I sort of took my eyes to look at the computer and boom! Tyler to the point. So down the straight they go. Sitting in third place, still Chris Edison, and we've got Andy Wesson. No, my brother Andy Wesson was there. Tom Robinson, yeah, he's still there, isn't he? Tom Robinson is fifth. And now Tyler. One, two, Tyler going seven, at it, going down the straight. Six, and then we've got Chris, and we've got Tom, Tom Robertson from 10th on the bridge. Well, it, to fourth is, uh, is an amazing result, really. And uh, where are the leaders? Here they go on the ground of Chandler, getting all sideways. And that Edward was sort of suffering there a little bit. But crazy to catch up, as you can see, through that little section, 30 seconds to go. It's going to be this one plus one more. So they come round up and over these bankings in front of race control. And um, Edward, oh, gets up and two wheels through the chicane to go over the whoops. He's starting their last lap. It's a now or never. First and second. Beacon in the right down the straight. No! Well, Edward tried to do something that, in my opinion, was impossible. And um, it, it's going to give it to Tyler. Tyler's going to come through, barring some sort of disaster or some sort of, you know, earthquake or something. Take your ground. Second place. F2, two-wheel drive, near final, leg two. A lot of twos in this one. And uh, Tyler Little in the top spot. With Eddie Cannon off the seat, Laura Hickson just behind. Andy Weston holding on to the fourth spot. It's not, it's not so far behind. This is a much better start than how it went on the last leg. Nice uh, concertina of cars coming in and out of the corner. Tyler Little holding on to it. So, oh, Eddie Cannon, oh, almost went for the gap. I think he thought from the last one. It didn't work for him when he was sending his car in so much. So he thought again about that one. Laura's not so far behind, she does take it up. It's going to be Andy Wesson getting stuck up in the pipe. Brett Burke's getting through, checks in the pipe. Andy's still holding on to a five spot. He so didn't get back a little bit, but Brett's happy. He can find catch up with the top pack. Going to work his way through. So on to the straight now, we have Tyler Little over the jump. Ah, oh. oh, looks like Edward's out. Something's down into the pretty dry there. Been put in the side. So now, Laura hits him up to the two spot. He's going through the chicane now, taking a left, there's so a lumpy bump. So he's stuck on the pipe there, going to be doing that too much. That gives Tyler a break. Tyler's going to focus on the pull away here. On the first leg, he's going to be thinking about trying to tie it up here like Matt did. So he, uh, up the non the pizza. Drop him down. Two spot, two spot, four spot, five spot, coming through here, dropping around over the nipple as we all come through. As Tyler comes over the loop, Laura comes over the loop, and Brett comes over the loop. Andy Weston. Here they are, down the straight. Tyler's got a small gap in front of him. Why does he gap on the computer? The gap is 1.4 seconds. Oh, he's looks cool in fact, but finish. Oh, we see when it happens in the back, so he's going to catch up. Laura's sending it through that bit. Oh, she's over, but the marker is yeah, pretty quick, actually. Uh, pretty quick, he was on it. But Laura hasn't lost anything, she can still do well. So you got Brett Burke promoted to the two spot. Andy Weston in the three spot. One, five, back four, it. Coming around here. Three, eight, seven, down the hill, six, taking left, taking eight, right. Nine, two, two, left, three, two, this two, is But pretty happy with the two spot at the moment. But Andy Weston is on the side, so is Laura. And so is Stuart. As they come around onto the straight for the seventh time. Tyler's holding his gap. 
They already have him with that. 2.5 seconds. Let's see a bit of bounce in and out. But Andy Russell is still holding his third as well. So at the moment, it's all looking pretty even. Stuart Harlow is a little bit closer to Laura than he was before. So Tyler comes over the big on feature. Drops it down the hill, takes the left, takes the right. Two to two. Keeps his step main chain to Brett. But Andy Russell has got a bit closer than he has done all day. He's a big bet, so he's going to try and get a second. Laura comes down and then there's Stuart. Then you got Andy Woods, Chris Everson, Tom Robertson. Oh no, he's put down for now, so he goes up to the eighth spot. Tyler, still looking good. Over the double 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 double. Over the loop. Taking my loop. Very good. But, so, going to bring me. Andy hasn't really gained too much in this one. If anything, Laura's gained a bit on Andy. So she's been tapped up with him. Get that three spot back. As she comes down. Up there, down there. And there we go. Tyler. Back over the line. Then it's Brett. One minute 13 to go. Then Andy. Andy and Laura now having a battle. So a battle for the third spot at the end of the straight right now. Laura's as safe as she's been at all of this run. Start from at the beginning. Okay. She just gets stuck in the pipe. Trying to get off it. She gets off it. She does it when she's at position. Unfortunately. Hopefully. Seven, nine. Down the stroke now, we've got Tyler over the jump. Oh, a bit of a whip going on there. That's but I needed Tyler. Oh, a little bit of traffic at the back here. So we've got Sofa here and Colin. Trying to get the battle with each other. It's the lead part. Tyler Liddell coming through the the bumpy bit. Over the loop. Hanging the left. Hanging the right. And onto the stroke. Holding a nice gap. Two seconds over Brett. Andy Weston still sitting in the third spot. He's not going on in the one at the moment. There's a nice gap between all of them. Stuart Harlow sitting in fourth with Laura behind him. And we've got Andy Woods in the sixth spot. And so we get down the hill and go around in section. Tyler is now entering the straight. But Burt is on the straight. Gained a little bit on that one. Still in tiny bit. Two seconds. So he now just needs to finish their lap. Get over the loop. As they drive down. Nine, He's going to make the pace. Laurie's backing with Stuart. It's like really back on the track here. She's going to get past him. Are you back? Oh, she's going to Oh, they've got to step up. Up on the pipe. Finished. Oh, Laurie just needs to get it round. <laughs> Sorry, that one didn't go well. F2's two-wheel drive, ear final, leg three. And there, uh, Edward Callum with a good start. Laura hits in just behind. Andy Weston in the fourth, third spot. And Bert Bert in the fourth. So as they come around over the big nipple now, taking the left of the chicane, he's got a nice procession of cars. Over the mound, over the loop. Laura is hungry to take this win. Edward Callum is not putting away on this one. Over the jump now. Edward needs to make this count. He didn't finish the last race. That was tough for him, so he wants to make this count. Laura's coming down, she's going to have the best final, so she's going to make this a good one. Touching some gas through, Andy Russell behind with Brett Burke, giving him lots of pressure. Brett's giving him a pass, but he just touches that Brett Neal and sticks over. On to the straight now. Edward Callan has pulled away a little bit, but we will see. As he takes the left around here, dropping down to the up-downs. From the up-downs, because it's back where they are, up-downs. Over the big nipple, chasing the left of his Laura's got a bit closer this time. Getting those corners, it means he just touched in the pipe, but it didn't cost her anything. Taking her out, over the loop, and he was just behind. On to the straight now. Nice battle there, over the big jump. Taking her right, he's on the left. Through the up down. Winning a little bit out of shape in that one, but he was all right. Jumping over that big jump, it kind of affects him on the exit there, so... As Laura comes down, she just touches the pipe and flips it over. Quick, 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 the last is some change. She rejoins. Next one, it's all about tomorrow, Laura. You'll be good. As Ed Wood Allen, the last one lead. Well, he's up to the team, he's doing something I want to be tapped up to this guy and take the win. 
So we'll see if he can do that. Take it around. Oh, I'm just like, so I'm getting his shot with Brett there. I don't know if any of them went over the loop on that one. So, we'll see. They're going to have it in after the time. Over the loop now, over the sun. He had a, not sure what that, 2.9 seconds at this one. We'll see what it is in the next one. You can come around. There's many battles going on. Chris Everson is in the third spot. Let's pick him up in the back. He is a very persistent Joe Cockrell catching up behind. So he's keen to get that third spot. He's doing this one for Carl. He said, I'm sorry that I've been rubbish all day and qualified 10th. But look at me now. Or qualified 9th. Sorry. No, it's the same thing. <laughs> but he is flying on this one with the power of the, the white. There we go, I guess he's gone back to 40 next. If he comes down the hill, hangs the right over here. On the chicane. Down the straight, it's all clear. I think it's a two base thing, isn't it? Running a white, white aerial tube. On to the straight. He's not losing to Chris Everton at the moment. He's working hard to catch up with him. Driving the best I've ever seen him drive. Carl's done some magic work on that car today. You could do his car more often. Big improvement for him. Taking it right. See that bit right. So everything is on the straight. I think he's pulled a small gap, but we'll see. He needs to make one mistake, and Joe will be with him. Edward Cannon still on the lead. 3.2 seconds in front of El oh, um, Andy. One minute 18 to go. On the straight, Edward goes now. Nice, comfortable lead. But if he has a car, you never know what's going to happen. Andy can get there. Taking a right now, now I'll step down. He's going past Colin. That's it, Colin is there in three. Taking a left around over the lumpy bump. He's still in great stuff. 58 seconds to go. Andy has to not stay far behind. Then you've got Chris Everton. Trying to get the next kind of change up back again. Then Jay Cockrell. So everyone's face out here. We've seen a few accidents in various cars. Laura's car has kind of stopped working or something. Oh no, she was sitting there. And as we come round, Edward's completing his 12th lap on that one. Having a really good run. 22.01 is his best lap. Maybe he can get into the 21s. That was a fast lap on the last one. But nothing to lose. Actually, he did actually have something to lose. Don't listen to me. Yeah, I don't listen to me. It's like you're touching pipes now. Right, 13 seconds to go. Looks like this lap for Edward. Bit dancing from the Masters. Oh, a bit more dancing. Both still sitting in the fourth spot. So a few guys have already finished. Both still crossing the loop. They're finishing now. Edward Cannon. He didn't manage to do it all day. There's a battle road. Joe Cockrell and Andy Wood. And he was right behind him over the beginning. Through the chicane. Joe rolls over, gives up the play. And Andy Wood takes that fourth spot.